Well, hello there, YouTube. Yes, it's me again. It's Shaved Ape, and this is, uh, well, this is something completely different. This is me passing on the benefits of my wisdom. Oh yes, um, this is uh, because I've been playing FPS games for quite some time. Uh, I started out well long before Medal of Honor Allied Assault, but I guess I reached the heights of my um, FPS gaming. Um, when Medal of Honor Allied Assault came out, one of the greatest games to ever be produced, if you, you know, that that's the way I look at it. I loved that game. We reached the heights of uh, second in 2v2, second in 6v6, I believe. Oh, I, I, I could be wrong on that one. Um, I also became clan base admin and head admin for a long time. Uh, I ran multiple leagues and ladders for Medal of Honor as well as playing the, uh, in some of them myself. Um, and I also helped new members that came into our team to get better and so on and, and showed them where they were going wrong and where they might be going right. But I also had the benefit of, of, of uh, excuse me, of playing with some of the best players in the world as well um, and also playing alongside them too so for that reason I, I picked up quite a bit a few tips but me being me I also went out there and, and researched as well to try and get even more information um, so that I could yeah make my game better just be better at what I do um, so for that reason I thought well if I do that and I still do it I can't help myself uh, because I still research um, maybe I can pass some of those bits of uh, things on to you so my pearls of wisdom if you like so welcome to shaved apes pearls of wisdom okay so anyway um windows 7 8 98 2000 you name it any windows adds mouse acceleration and from an fps gamer's point of view that's not good so we're going to fix that okay and we fix that with a program called mark c's uh, Windows 7 and 8 mouse fix you can find it for 98 and so on as well if you wish but I'm guessing most of you are on 7 or 8 okay I'm on 8 by the way if anyone's interested and before you all start saying oh, it's, a, it's a tablet I don't give a shit okay it's an operating system and it does its job fine and I, and I spend most of my time in desktop mode so I don't even see the tablet side of things okay so don't want to hear it Shut the fuck up, okay? Anyway, quickly moving on. Um, I'm going to show you, basically, or try to show you why it's important. And unfortunately, because I've already applied the fix, it's a bit difficult to do it. But I will show any. I will try and show at least, okay? So, um, I'm going to need to get the control panel up. So, I'm going to quickly do that. I'm going to go to the hardware and devices and then I'm going to choose mouse and then forgetting all this unless there's anything we don't want which there isn't pointers doesn't matter moving to pointer options okay well first of all I'm going to turn that off okay we don't need that if it's on get it off okay and then I would make sure it's set to 6 okay partly because Mark C's Windows acceleration fix is set up better for 6 I do believe you can put it at 5 but having read a bit I know that 6 is the most optimal okay so I've got it set at 6 I'm now going to because I want to show you what it looks like when I've not got it I'm gonna put it up but you'll be able to do this without okay you can try this and you'll see the problem so assuming you haven't applied this fix you'll see the problems anyway so I'm gonna shove it up, up to a bit higher so you can kind of see where it comes from so if I apply that um, okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a couple of circles in paint and, and what you'll see uh, I'll show you okay right there we go um, and, and, I, and when I try and draw these circles as you can see I get lots of jagged lines now actually that's even smoother than I would get without the fix but it gives you a rough idea of what you'll probably see okay and now I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna give myself a new one okay um, and I'm gonna go back into the mouse thing drop it back down to six which is there isn't it yes it is indeed okay so we'll apply that okay and then 
I'll go back into paint and I'll draw a few circles again. Now remember again it's still not going to be perfect but it's a lot smoother. So I draw the same sort of circles and as you can see a lot smoother just less jaggedy lines. Yes there's a couple but it's nowhere near as bad as it was okay. Try it out for yourself and you'll see the problems okay. Now one other thing you can do is when you get the Mark C's um, when you get Mark C's fix which I'm just about to try and find Mark C's Windows 8 fix okay when you get that uh, you will unzip it of course and go into your chosen operating system and then you choose the text size that you run so I run at normal size so therefore it's the hundred percent scale okay um, and I would double click this tell it yes click OK and then I'll restart and that will do my and that will add the fix but also in the folder that I've just extracted or already extracted we have this one which is mouse movement recorder I'm, I'm sure there's a possibility that I had to extract it from there but basically what it does is it shows you your mouse acceleration and as you can see from that one there we've got a zero or, or you can see that not all the numbers are exactly the same uh, certainly with the red one there if you were to run it before you apply the fix you'll see that a lot okay and because you see it a lot you know there's a problem now when you run it again after you've applied the fix you either get lots of greens or you'll get everything looking the same so come on stop messing me around so there we go you can see that they're all about the same okay on both sides so we got the left and the right yes I'm seeing the odd red one um, but you get the idea okay so the, the the enhancements there okay so and, and what that will do is it'll just give you a bit more accuracy with your mouse okay now the next thing you can obviously do is you can open up your whatever software you're using I use a razor death adder so if I I'm assuming you've got a gaming mouse you've probably got some software to go with it okay um, now as, uh, from an FPS gamers point of view um, you probably are based on what I know myself but also what I know competition gamers tend to do is they want low sensitivity but high accuracy okay and the okay so basically the reason we want this accuracy is so that there is very little movement um, when we move the mouse I mean if we've got really high sensitivity and the mouse is moving really really quickly then we're going to struggle to get that small amount of accuracy we sometimes need to get on the head or whatever okay so by slowing down the speed of your mouse while improving the actual sensitivity that you've got uh, if that makes any sense um, you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make it a little bit easier to be more pinpoint accurate okay um, so going across to my performance I've got my sensitivity set here at basically I mean this is Windows Synapse uh, sorry Razor Synapse um, and my mouse is capable of 3500 dpi okay but 3500 dpi it just feels like a bit too much so dropped it to 80 um, as you can see no acceleration on at all um, but my polling rate I've got as high as I can go which is a thousand a polling rate basically is how many times the signal from the mouse's uh, position I believe is sent back to the computer okay so it will update a thousand times per second or something along those lines uh, I mean feel free to correct me if I'm wrong but yeah that's that's basically the way I understand it now as I say I, I've, I've got it at 1800 dpi which is dots per inch okay it says so there so I know I'm right about that one uh, but I got 1800 because yeah anything more just feels a bit too much now if I drop it I'm gonna get less speed with my mouse and therefore a little bit less sensitivity but if I set it here and then go into game and reduce it further then I can have a really really slow mouse movement where it takes me 
you know, two or three attempts to get a full 180. I mean, full 180 I can probably do in, in a couple of inches or so. Um, but I don't want to move too much. I mean, you know, if I'm being shot from behind, chances are by the time I'm able to turn around, there's a good chance I'm going to be dead anyway. So I want more accuracy with the guys I'm facing. Because when you're playing against decent players, if they're shooting you in the back, by the time you turn around, you're dead. You're not getting to turn around, okay? You know, players that aren't so good, of course, yeah, you're going to be able to turn around and shoot them. And, and fine, you know, that's okay, do it. Um, but accuracy, of the, or the accuracy I'm looking for, I want while I'm facing you, okay? Okay, so here we are in, gear, in in a game. This is Battlefield 3 for anyone that's interested. Um, and basically, I'm going to set my, my, my sensitivity. Oh, I have set my sensitivity. So as you can see, I can't move really quickly. It takes quite a bit of movement to go from 180. I mean, if I start here and I move my mouse so that I get 180, actually quite a lot of movement. I've moved all the way across my mouse mat to do it that's where there's 180 okay to do it quickly yeah I could probably do it with a bit of quick movement but you can see that it takes me a while so and the reason for that is because I want these micro movements I want to be able to go from there to there relatively quickly uh, but I don't really care about from there to there it, you know I mean that's quite a long movement that's gonna make my time my life hard trying to get from there all the way around to here is going to take a while and and by the time i've managed to do that i'm probably dead anyway so it's more interesting it's more important for me to get between these two smaller points these micro transitions micro movements whatever you want to call it i need to be able to shoot there and then maybe there you know i mean i'm trying to get the guy in the head not shoot the guy in the side of the tank for example so for that reason, I want nice small movements um, and movements that I can do with very little movement of my mouse. But if I'm going to do a bigger one, it's so I can get more accuracy. Um, and that's what that's for. So that's the reason I do it. Now, if I had really high sensitivity, I'm going to just change my... Have a look at my... Thing. So there's my sensitivity of my mouse. It's, as you can see, really, really low. If I change it... Um, and I put it to there, for example. And resume. Uh, there you go. You can see just how bad it is. So, to get these small movements with my tiny mouse movement, I'm just not going to get it. It's going to be really hard to get in the middle. So, if I want the A, or what looks like an A or S on, on that sign there, I'm struggling to get it. I just can't, there it is, no, can't get it, okay, drop my sensitivity, uh, where have you gone, no, there, plunker, okay, that's perhaps a tiny bit too small, I'll leave it there, save that, resume, now my sensitivity is back to normal, See what I mean? So uh, I, I know it's on the A. Okay. Yeah, there's some, but I can get there quicker. Okay, so that's the reason for that, and th and that's why we do it. It's purely and simply so we can get better accuracy. Um, just makes life easier for you. Give it a try. As I say. First person shooters, uh, certainly the guys that play these games professionally and that kind of thing, uh, they tend to keep sensitivity low, lots of movement to go from here round to here. Now the reason for that is to get that sensitivity. I'm not saying you should reduce it as far as I have, okay? Um, but you want to try and get it lower than, you know, as, as you saw when I had it up here. Wow, just horrible. So you get the idea, okay? So, um, hopefully this helps you. I mean, if it doesn't, then fair enough. But if you find that it helps, please let me know. Um, and I may put up some other little tips and tricks I've found. If it doesn't help, it doesn't help. 
Um, one thing I will say is I do try and keep my sensitivity in all my FPS games roughly the same. The closer they are, the better, because that way uh, my muscle memory, if you like, of how much I need to move the mouse to get from there to there um, is always the same. So my hand gets used to moving a certain amount to get where it's going. Okay. Um, so that's the reason I try and keep the sensitivities the same but of course you can't keep it perfect because that's a little bar there and in Medal of Honor it says 6 for example um, but I will try and keep them about the same so the movement I do feels about the same um, and as I say that's all about getting that muscle memory hope you enjoy this video hope it's useful to you and if it is please like subscribe thumbs up do what you gotta do, you know. Um, and if you do, and if you got anything to ha add, even let me know, cause I, you know, I'm always willing to learn some more. But hopefully, this is helpful to those that didn't already know it. Um, and once again, thank you all for watching. I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye bye.